I'm Eris from Team 7, and this is our presentation about our Groom project. Thank you all for coming, and we hope you enjoy it. Here's the table of contents. We uphold this belief throughout the process. Nature is not a place to visit, it is home. So this is Hong Kong, and the other orange spot is Anshade. As you can see, those places are far away from each other. Therefore, you can imagine there's many differences between those two cities. In this presentation, we are also going to cover them. All of us engaged in idea generation, while some of us produced a video and created a PowerPoint. Landfills and incineration without recycling is very common during processes like this. Greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and harmful substances come into the environment. Not only do these harmful substances cause respiratory diseases, but also contribute much to climate change. That's why we need good waste management. In our ground, we will have recycling scheme. Besides having a lot of containers for paper, plastic, and kitchen waste and regulations, we will provide mandatory public education commencing at kindergarten. In particular, we have an underground waste vacuum system to maximize land usage. In Enshade, we have DEFTA. It stimulates every inhabitant of Enshade to produce as little as possible residual waste, as it runs on producer responsibility scheme basis. All the residual waste goes to TWENS. Twin is a sustainable waste processor. By burning the residual waste, we make green electricity out of it. It is used immediately by inhabitants in the whole area. In Hong Kong, we also came up with solutions to reduce litter. In recent decades, Hong Kong established her first food waste recovery center and sludge treatment facility. We incorporate these concepts into our guru. The key is recycle, education, and conversion of energy. So about the clean water, due to the geographical limits, Hong Kong doesn't have enough fresh water supply to meet the current demands. So we import fresh water. In 2020, about 70 to 80% of water comes from Dongjiang. In the Netherlands, 60% of drink water comes from underground water sources. The other 40% is from Ryan and the Mills River. In our Gruen, we will reuse our rainwater and set up a water cleaning system. There are a lot of organizations that are cleaning the waters in the Netherlands and in Europe and ensure a cleaner society. So why do we clean water? The reason is simple. Fixing water systems is an example of what the fight against climate change ultimately needs to look like. Upgrading and improving our infrastructure in a manner that benefits a new and improved ecosystem. Further, our water systems are using technologies which all have modern improvements that have been widely deployed. These solutions use less energy and avoid expensive mistakes through better planning. We embrace these solutions like investing in affordable energy and upgrading our clean water systems. So for the air quality, referring to the IQ's Air's report in 2018, Hong Kong came in, for, in 34th in the global ranking of world's most polluted countries. Cases of asthma have soared in recent years due to the bad air quality. The air pollution is mainly contributed by transportation and power plants. In the Netherlands, there is a lot of carbon dioxide in the air. More than 18,000 construction projects and farmers have to stop working, and this brings great economic impacts. In Gurren, we dedicate to reduce emission in factories. We would use hydrogen to produce the manufacturing activities as it doesn't have any emission. In Enshade, we have many sustainable projects and companies. We also need to plant more trees so that there is less carbon in the air. We try to recycle so that we have less CO2. This brings to the new prompt. So we will have a bicycle jogging track where the public can enjoy both sports in the shared space in the promedance. The transportation in Gruen will involve a high proportion of hydrogen. For waste, we have covered that before, so let's jump into these photos. For the app, so yeah, clean energy is really important. 
So for the wind miles, we'll generate the electricity. In Netherlands, over 80% of energy is still generated by burning coal and petroleum. That is a bad way to generate electricity. First, it caused global warming, the melting Arctic ice, drought and fruit crisis. All you can think about will happen. The another problem is that we are running out of fossil fuels. So that's why we have to use green energy. We propose wind energy. Neither does it involve any current emission nor involving in a huge running cost. This would effectively enhance the economic sustainability in our growth. People are against wind miles because of noises and the lack of coastal winds. Setting the wind farm in the offshore and remote areas in our Gurum will solve that problem. Though the setup cost is massive now, but I believe in the future we will find a way to build cheaper ones. So we need wind miles in remote areas like here and the creative designs. Another important criteria for a smart and green city, I think, is accessible buildings and, pu and public areas. As the society is more diversified, accessibility should be taken into the consideration when designing green cities to cater the citizens' needs. Accessibility buildings are designed according to user experience. For instance, special toilets designed for disabled, yet accessibility is not confined to serving the minorities. As the design shall meet the user's needs, our groom adapt natural lighting to the majority of homes and offices, utilizing daylight as natural lighting can laminate the area with minimal electricity used. Moreover, the user's mental health will be improved as the environment is natural-like. For public areas, our groom will have an urban swimming area at the waterfront. The area takes up less space and is more accessible than traditional beaches. This can free up spaces and offer more recreational facilities. As the pollution density soars, the pop, uh, sorry, as the population density soars, the parks in the center of Gurun can be a solution. A botanic park with inbuilt ch child playground meets the families and the general public's need. While the botanic park features a waterfall, the basement serves a playground with a slide sprawling across three floors. Children and parents could find a quick getaway from the hustle and bustle of the city lives. Designing the public areas and accessible buildings to restore a natural environment is in fact the best way to improve the mental health and productivity. Here's some pictures about the crowded area in Hong Kong and the lack of night natural lighting. So for the green areas, the global population will increase persistently. This revelation indicates an urgent demand for green areas. So to fulfill the recreational need and restore health, as population grows, the demand for, en for energy increases. Take China as an example. Cheap fuels are used in great proportion to cope with the drastically increasing population at the expense of the citizens' health. Green areas in the city can be anything. Green areas enhance air quality in open fields, rows of trees are planted. According to World Health Organization, the trees filter the harmful particles and cleanse the air. Thus, open reserves do help soothe respiratory diseases and merit one's well-being. Green areas help moderate temperatures. Plantation in urban open areas, such as urban forests and vertical forests, Residential tower can help maximize the green coverage. Bosco Fendical in Milan has been a rather exemplary example. The whole tower becomes an ecosystem. It can absorb the heat efficiently, which can reduce the cost by opening air conditioner. The plantation covering the Gurun is the ideal picture. The greenery exists from commercial buildings to residential areas. For instance, the rooftop can be built like greenhouse with varied botanic, herbs, and vegetables. To improve mental health, urban forests can be built in the core areas of commercial districts. Here's our videos.
Hey, en, uh, en die kinderen, hoe oud zijn die dan daar? Ja. Nee hoor. The other video about the differences of transportation in Anshade and in Hong Kong. So by comparing, we can see that Hong Kong, you, unlike Anshade, we rely on vehicles a lot and we seldom use bicycle to travel and so that our air pollution is more serious than Anshade. So here's our ideas. We think that good information and waste management, we use rainwater, no pollution, more trees, improve air quality, windmill islands, natural lighting system, waterfront urban streaming area, botanic and children park, green buildings and roofs, self-sufficient communities are very important in a green city. Here's are some concept arts and I'll flip over them. So our process and collaboration for myself, I think the teamwork was good. We had a WhatsApp app group and we discussed a lot, even though the time difference between us is quite great, but we can still discuss in a friendly time and we can amend our works and finish the project on time. So the next page is the sources of information. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation. And I would like to thank our group mates in Netherlands. Uh, they are Faya, Anna, Maria, and Priyanka. Due to the COVID-19 virus, they cannot join this project anymore. So, but I think 
I need to thank them because they have worked a lot and they put their efforts in this project. I really want to thank them. And I have to thank Groom give me that chance to cooperate with students from another countries. So thank you very much. This is the end of my presentation.